and and this is curved in not liking that but when I put the backing on it will uh, do as it should but yeah I'm quite pleased with it now what I'm going to do is just to finish off the floor oh that's done I did make the little chairs there's glued a little book on that's got to be glued on the little walking stick I made Oops, I'm just going to pop that there, that's got to be glued in place, this is got to be glued in place, uh, what else, I'm just going to take that off because it shouldn't be on there, look it's made a mat but it'll go back where it came from, I did put one up there as well, so I hope you can see, now I need to bring that in a little bit I think just going to try and get a different angle for you because I want you to be able to see what I'm doing my desk is chocolate at the moment sorry let's have a look so yeah I'm quite happy with it it's uh, come along nicely all these are stuck in now a little bottle of coke um, and then the fork uh, the fork and the little trowel these are all stuck really nicely so I'm thrilled at that not that one for some reason but we can sort that out now and stick that in there Oops. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the wall and pin that back like that I'm quite happy with that So I need to stick these in. Like that. And then that one. Like that. yeah so I'm happy with those Let's get rid of all this now what I've got to do today is I'm going to put a little bit of fabric here and then I'm going to build the window inside the doors I've got a little bird feeder here and then we've got one here so um, for me to do that I need to find the lace now I did have the lace so I've got this piece that's going to go in there and I need to cut it of course so if I do that I'm going to paint the background white because it's just a false wall a false door sort of thing you see like that And then I'm going to use Mod Podge to glue that in. So I've got my Mod Podge here. But I need to paint all of it white first. So I'm just using the Mod Podge to paint on enough to stick these uh, bits of lace on, or this bit of lace should I say.
and then what I'm going to do is start making the slats so obviously we want two doors so I'm going to need oh let me just see where did I put my uh, bits I'm going to do it that way so just about 15 and a half so 15 and a half in length pencil 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 15 and a half like that And then I'm just going to measure this. Oh, eight. Eight. Now, hang on, I didn't do that right, did I? Hang on. Yeah, I need to make sure I've got that right. What did I say? Eight. No, Ta. Let's move that out of the way because I don't actually want to touch that. Let's do it this way. Where's eight? So what I'm just going to see, I think I actually measured this wrong. Oh no. No, it seems to work. Yeah, I think so. So that would go in there. That would go in there. And I do need to cut a slither off. I'll just move that board. We've just got to make it look like it's sat in there. Yeah, that. Oh no, don't do that, B. Don't do that. That should do. Now all I've got to do is to cut that in half. Oops. Let's have a look. I need to cut this in half. So I need to cut that there, but then I also need to go around half a centimetre. I mean a centimetre, sorry. So we need to do that. Of course, we need to go in a centimetre there. In a centimetre there. And then we need to do a centimetre here because this is the frame remember sorry I hope you're seeing this Let's see if I can, I was going to say let's see if we can cock this up, but I probably will do. <laughs> I probably will. I'm going to try it this way though. Let me just see. What have we got from there to there? This might be an easier option for me. So we've got 13 and a half. So that's six and a quarter. So if I do... A 
if I do six that way, and then I can do one, two, three, four, five, six that way, and do the same here. So if I do that and do six there, and then six there, I don't have to cut as much out. Let me just, just check that. Yeah, that's fine. Ooh, and then we've got to do the middle section. Yes. Mm, right, okay. Just bear with me. I think I know what I'm doing. But this can all go belly up. Of course. Of course it can. I'm going to do it slightly different to what I've just done. <laughs> we shall see we shall see I'll change my mind about this centimetre bit but let me just see if I can get this right the top and bottom will have to be right though Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, let me just work this out. So bear with me. So I need to do that. I need to do that. I need to make sure that's done there. I'm keeping this as a centimetre either end, but these I've halved. I'm nearly getting there. Nearly got it right. Let's have a look. Yes. So I'll just share that with you in a minute, what I did. Again, oh, see, that's what happens, but I can fix that. I'm not fussed about that. So I originally went round and did a centimetre all the way around, but then I cut the centimetre in half again um, to make the openings. 
and that's the door now it, it, it can add as a full door or I can change it into two doors I'm going to change it into two and then I'll put some door handles on it as well like that see but I'm not fussed about that because we can fix that but you've just got to be careful how you do it so I'm just going to take my little scissors and make sure that I've uh, hopefully you can see what I'm doing fixed all this whoops I'm fine with that one. That will do. doesn't have to be perfect. I'm okay with that. So what I'm going to do is lay it on the other way. But I'm going to paint them before I do that. Oops, a daisy. So here we go, I'm going to make sure you can see. Now none of this um, black um, coley bits came off or anything like that, so I know that that is glued on as it should be. Now I'm just going to get this, put the glue on here, and hopefully that will stick that down as it should. Like that. And then I'm going to take this piece and do the exact same thing. that is set in there like that yeah I'm fine with that that'll do me let me just get a little bit more of that paint I think Now what I'm going to do is to glue the table in. Oh, I need to finish the floor, don't I? Although I'm not, I don't know what I'm going to do about the floor. Just hang on, let me see. I want some more grout in the middle. So I did want to do a little bit more uh, greyish colour. There we go. Don't need much. It was just to... Starting in between the stonework, just a little bit. Kind of like dry brush it on.
see like that how it's darkened it well I like that uh, and then what I can do is just to totally darken the bottom bit here Uh, coming off this side of the wall coming through the crevices yeah like that now I also want to do some growing in between these so it's spread kind of like over we can do it going over here like that like that let's get some more glue don't forget you're not no point in putting it where the seats are going to be there's no point in um, doing it where you can't see it at all. Flick that in the corner. Flick some here. So now what I'm going to do is put the uh, 
meal at put the table where I want it to be. Oh, I don't know whether to use that kind of glue either. I'm going to use this thick glue, I think. Yeah, I'm just going to use this thick glue. Because it will dry really nicely. And clear. So, I'm going to have the table right there. I need one of the chairs at the back. Now that will be glue. Oh, I might as well use the same glue. I know it'll stick tight then and it won't come off because uh, hot glue will eventually. But these, not. I did make these chairs. Like that. Here's another one, like I say, I put a little book on it. So I'm going to put that one just there, even though the meal, let me just see, right there. I want that sat right and that one slightly under like that and then of course I did get the um, do the walking stick which I want on there anyway <laughs> this is going back on so I'm going to glue this with the oh look I put it right in the bloody glue Silly woman. That's going to go on there like that. And that's going to go back there. A bottle of Coke at the side of him, in case he wants one, or her. There's one there as well, just for decoration, nothing else. I'm going to put the uh, spade up as well. And I'm, we're going to sit the spade here. Just there. Uh, right there not that there's much to rake but you would have to rake um, you know any dead leaves and plants and what not wouldn't you so that's that I think that's all I'm going to do. And thanks everybody for your support. I really do appreciate it. Please keep checking that you are subscribed to YouTube. Please keep checking that you are either a, a site member of the shop. It doesn't cost you anything to be a site member. But you get notification when I put anything up. So you get first nabs at it. And um, yeah, I look forward to uh, you know any, of, uh, any and all of your um, orders. And your comments on here. Please comment if you can. Um, it's like having a shadow gang that don't comment. <laughs> I know a lot of people don't like to. But um, it is nice to hear. And I it, it makes me realise people are there that I'm, um, that's watching my videos. That's sharing what I'm doing. Okay. Uh, let your family and friends know. Don't forget you can subscribe to the channel. It's 2 99 a month. Just uh, on the bottom of the video, there's a big sign that says join. Click on that. Or to the right will be three little dots. Click on those and you can do it that way. Or you can make a donation, buy me a coffee, whatever it is you want to do. I'm not up on this technical savvy stuff. It's just not me. So I'm trying to get with it. <laughs> not really successful at it, but uh, I do the videos. You lot do the rest. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Take care and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye bye for now.